So in this video, let's take a look at some examples of different numbers and how many significant figures they have. And we're going to apply the rules that we learned, okay? So in the first example, we actually have a zero that's sitting in between two non-zero digits. Therefore, this is actually this zero is actually significant. Therefore, this is going to have one, two, three significant figures. The next example, actually, you have two zeros sitting at the end of the number, but then you have a decimal place in the number. Therefore, these two zeros that are sitting at the end and actually after the decimal place are significant. Therefore, that's one, two, three, four significant figures. Take a look at the next one. You have uh, a decimal place. Therefore, the zero at the end, just like in this example, becomes significant. But then you have um, a power of 10 out here. Now, whenever you, so this number is actually written in scientific notation. And whenever you have a number in scientific notation, and you have basically have a power of 10, ignore this. Okay, so we're not going to look at this when assigning significant figures. Why? Because this is simply telling you how big or how small the number is. Nothing to do with the measurement. So the actual measurement is out here. So therefore, that's one, two, three significant figures. And then the last one, we have one, two, three, four zeros sitting in a number which does not have a decimal place in it, okay? And when there's no decimal place and the zeros are at the end of the number, those are placeholder zeros, okay? So these guys are placeholders, ignore them. So you just cover them up like this. And therefore, you have only two significant figures in this number.